Hey, how's it going guys? I am here with Mandy Joy, an artist residing in Las Vegas, Nevada. She's mostly self-taught. So how did you uh, get started in art? Um, it was just always a hobby I enjoyed doing. So all through my childhood and afterward, and kind of used to like to draw portraits of my nieces and nephews, and people started asking if they could buy things. So cool. then, you know, at some point, after a certain number of those requests, I eventually started doing that. I really just assumed that it's not gonna go anywhere. But they grew. Wow, so that's awesome. So it's, it's just kind of organically, just kind of where people ask you about. I mean, work. at first it, it was just organic. And then when I decided I was really going to give this a shot, I had to, you know, go all in and put an effort into marketing and getting myself out there, getting into the arts community, meeting people. Um, so that stuff wasn't organic. That was a lot of effort. But Okay, you so know, yeah, definitely. There's, somebody, a, there's a certain point where you're like, okay, I think I could actually make this work out, and right. you just decide to start, you know, putting in the effort at the time. Yeah. So what do you? What are like some current projects you're working on? What, do you have any uh, series that you're? Yeah, um, I kind of mix it up. So I do one series for a little while, and then another series. But first, I was doing this series on love is love. So it was all about couples of every kind. So I didn't want any couple to feel not represented for Valentine's Day and just in general, you know. So there's male-female couples, female-female, male-male, um, and interracial, and I, I just tried to kind of do no a discrimination. sampling of everybody. That's yes. Awesome. Love is love is kind of a movement. Um, and then I got into like some black and white girls with stripes and stuff with like the shadows curving over them, things like that. They're a little bit abstract, a little bit realistic. Awesome. Um, hard to describe. But. Cool. What are like some of your favorite techniques or what kind of materials do you like to use? Um, I usually do acrylic. Sometimes I do spray paint. Sometimes I do airbrush with acrylic. Um, but usually it's just straight up acrylic paints. Okay. And sometimes I use a brush and layer it. Sometimes I just use a palette knife and kind of go crazy on it. Um, I don't like to always do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's good to change it up, try yeah. different stuff, yeah. and see what see what works. So, uh, like, where do you see yourself ten years from now? What are your, what are your plans? God, I really have no idea. <laughs> Ten years ago, I didn't see myself here. Okay. So, yeah, you know, I, most people don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, I try not to get too far ahead of myself. Comes. I mean, right now, what I'd like to see happen is, you know, I'm, I'm working here in the Las Vegas artist community, but also maybe showing sometimes in other cities, okay. even other countries. Who knows? Oh, yeah, that'd, I mean, be that'd, awesome. be, that'd be great. How long have you been, how, how long have been here in Las Vegas? I've been here for nine years. So now, do you have any advice for uh, aspiring artists out there? Uh, work hard. Be prepared to give everything. Um, you're going to have to put yourself into uncomfortable situations where, you know, you're going to have to get out there and talk to people and market yourself. You're going to feel like you're bragging about yourself and you don't want to. And, you know, there's lots of uncomfortable things that yeah. you kind of have to There's more than just the like creative to, side. There's a lot yeah, of Yeah, really creating skills. is half. It's about half of it. Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of other things to do. But... I think the principles of being a good person and being a good worker apply to this as well. You know, you, you've got to do what you say you're going to do, you've got to do it well, you've got to do it on time, you've got to have good relationships with people, um, be a good person, not screw people over. I mean, you know, the <laughs> yeah, basics. Okay. Now, uh, do you have a website? Where can people find out more info about your yep. art? Just www.artbymandyjoy.com and my social media links and everything are on there for Instagram. And well, yeah, I'll put it in the description below for anyone who wants to check that out. And now I just want to show you guys around some of her uh, specific pieces. All right, can you tell me about this piece right here? What inspired you to uh, create this one? This was the first piece in this particular series. Um, I had seen a photo of a lady laying down and it was just it was just such a perfect pose and the light was coming in on her and kind of going over the contours of her so I just wanted to depict that in like a more way more dramatic way so I drew the lady first and then I played with all these stripes and sometimes I let the strip continue through her hair sometimes uh, I completely broke it up um, I kind of did a few takes on all that to see how I liked it the best, but that's yeah. how that one ended Yeah, those straps oh. really make it pop. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So now, how about this one over here? This one is a dancer stretching, and it was just a regular photo of a girl, no, you know, lights or stripes on her, but I just liked the pose and I thought this would really work well, and I'd take the light down and then just scatter it. So I'm trying to do sort of different things with the light on cool. each of these. Alright, how about uh, this one right here? 
This is um, a bouquet of roses, and actually I painted it upside down. And then I just sort of thought it'd be cool if I flipped it and then had the rose petals falling, like they were kind of wilting roses. So oh, okay. it might be a little bit dark so, for some uh, people. So when you started out, you didn't have that in mind, but then like after like half a year, you yeah. decided, wow, why not? Yeah, that? no good reason. I just I just thought, huh, that might look better upside down. Now, how often is it that you like you uh, you start out with like the end in mind, and how often is it that it just kind of develops like intuitively? Um, if it's something that is not a custom order then it might be 50-50. If it's a custom order, then I gotta do what they want. Yeah, but it's okay. really nice when it's not, so that you can just let it go. Awesome, awesome. So you got a few more of these uh, stretch yeah, motifs? a couple more of these. Um, this was just a girl that was that was there, and I just changed the, the whole lighting pattern again, basically like the other one. And then this is actually from a photo of my friend Ariana. And I, I really liked her pose too. She was kind of leaning against a railing, and here's a hand. And here's another hand, that one's pretty subtle. There's her fingers, okay. there's her wrist. Um, and I just wanted to do these stripes differently, just for a different effect. I wanna, I have got a few more of these in mind too, that I wanna do in different ways. So it's not always in the same one style. Okay, cool. This is my Love is Love series. And this is the one where I just did all kinds of different couples. And so this is two girls in silhouette. And this one is a man and a woman, but they look, you know, maybe like teenage love. Um, this one is actually two women's hands. I got some questions on this. Someone said, is that self-love or what's going on there? <laughs> but these are two left hands, if you look closely, and this girl painted her nails and this girl did not. So that's what's showing there, and she's lifting the skirt. Um, this is obviously an interracial thing, but I was a little bit unclear as to whether this hand is a man or a woman. So that is something that people could just take however they want to take. Okay. And this, they make a heart. And this one's called Safe. It just looks like she's being held safely and securely. And um, it's just a sweet kind of love, you know? And then this is just face to face. This was where I got the idea of the one with the two girls. This was one of the first ones that I had done. And then I just expanded the series this year. Very cool, very cool. And then I did a couple bigger ones. So here's two fellas, and that's a more, you know, heated one. And then the wine, because it's a whole romantic theme, and then here's a man and a woman. And this one's called Heat. So are you a wine drinker? I'm not really, no. no. I, okay. I like gin. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> this reminds me of those, like, uh, slow-mo pics, you know, where they have, like, the right. water splashed. Yeah, but the spring. wine is a, is a popular thing for a lot of people with thinking of romance, so yeah, okay. thought that was fitting. Awesome. Alright, can you tell me about these uh, shirts it looks like? Your, yeah, what kind of different this was the start to the series. This is my rose girl, I call her, because it's a rose right on her head, and there's leaves and different things, and it's sort of a tattoo design. And actually, this is a, a tattoo that I was asked to design for somebody. So, so some, my, that's my, on someone's body my somewhere? My brother-in-law is sporting this on his awesome. forearm, actually. And then I turned it into shirts. Um, so we've got it in tank tops and t-shirts, and so that's here's definitely, the leggings of that. That's definitely a testament to your skill if someone's willing to get it on their body permanently. <laughs> I, yeah, that, that was sweet. I, I wasn't expecting that and, it, and it's a it's a cool thing but i think it would be a lot of pressure to be a tattoo artist and oh that yeah constantly yeah. right and then the second design in the series that i did for 2017 is this which is obviously a tree and it's in that same type of tattoo design and down here is the earth there's all the different continents oh, and they're wow. sort of pushed together like pangea okay. yeah and this one's called we are one because it's like a come together type of thing unity peace unity awesome yes that's, that's what I was going for with that one. And that's also available on the leggings and men's, women's shirts, long sleeve, short sleeve, tanks, all that. I've got ideas for a few different girls I want to do. Oh, also on the back side, I sketched these legs with the stockings. Okay. So I thought that would be another cool one for this stripe series. I might just take the stripes out from there each time the stockings end. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So like, where do you draw your inspiration most? Do you have like favorite artists or? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Steve Anthony, my business partner, is one of my very favorite artists. I love always seeing what he's up to, and, and it's pretty cool being able to see it while it's being created. Um, and on on Instagram and out in the world, um, I love Leonard Afromov. 
he's got some things that are just beautiful and colorful, um, a lot of landscapes, sometimes couples, but it's impressionist, so it's a lot of colors splashed around and crazy things and cool. very vibrant. Um, but I just love like scrolling through Instagram. And yeah, that's pretty much unlimited, yeah, unlimited yeah. ideas. I mean, it's kind of how I start the day and end the day is I just scroll through and look at beautiful things, you know? So now, is this going to be a commission, or is this just uh... No, this is just a continuation of my striped series, but oh, okay. I am doing something a little bit different. Obviously, there's a curve here instead of the stripe when it leaves her body. So this time, I'm letting her hair be the stripes. Oh, very cool. And I'm going to incorporate some flowers. I liked the way the stripes looked with the flowers on the wall, so I wanted to do something with both together for the next set. So do you always use like the same brand of paint or do you use, use different kinds? Um, when I'm using acrylic paint, sometimes I will even just use cheap craft paints or something for the quick background just to lay out the color. And then most of the time I like the Grumbacher acrylics. Okay. Very These cool. are my favorite. They're a little bit thicker and You can just, always mix it with water, right? If yeah, if you want to thin it, you can mix it with water. And these just cover really nicely so that you don't have to keep going over and over. 